this is just a front post that come. So in the end of the last year, I finished up writing the professional application development in lean stack articles. And you can find the complete learning path from this learning path link. Just click on professional lean stack development. Uh, click on see full article button and here you can see I just listed down all the 11 articles linked over here And if you read the summary of this article series uh, You will understand that this is totally for the beginners. You should have uh, very little knowledge of the programming We will do each uh, Step and we will understand why and how we are doing it uh, up to six part uh, the Code is also available in the GitHub. Um, just go ahead and uh, browse the full stack hub IO Git repository. So this is not a development tutorial. Uh, I will only show you the end product after you follow all the steps and all the articles. So let's see how it would look like and how you can actually um, manage the menu and the corresponding pages in the menu. So let's start. So let's go back to our home page. Here you can see we have multiple components that we're using. On the top, we have castle control. We have different sections for our content. On the right side, we are using uh, the client reviews component. Uh, then we have slider component. And then there's a Google map. So this can definitely help you to learn how to integrate the third party components in your render application. And code is also available in the GitHub repository. Uh, this is the URL of the repository. And here you can see the code is available up to part six. So the two main points that I want to focus on these videos are the menu items and the pages attached to the menu item. Both are loading from the database and we are actually managing them in our admin section. I will just go through the admin section. I will show you how you can add the new menu item edit or delete the existing one. Similarly, how you can create a new page and add the content of the page. Just remember that home and contact us menu items are static. Uh, they are not loading from the database. Only services and corresponding test page are loading from the database. So we'll go to the admin section. We will add one more menu item and you will see that it will start appearing here in the menu item bar. In order to go to the admin session, we have to log in. So click on login button, enter the email address and the password. Click on the login button. Okay, so this is the admin home page. Here you can see we have three main buttons. The menus management and the pages management uh, are quite self-explanatory. You can add, update, delete menus and the pages. And the user messages page contain all the messages that are being sent through contact us page from this form. Let's go back to admin home page and let's go to the user messages page. Right now we only have one message and you can see the sender information actually that's me uh, but it's just our test message and this is the actual message that I sent to contact us page. And the admin can delete that message um, but right now there's no functionality to reply the message and uh, you can add it anytime. So let's go back to the admin home page. Now let's go to the menus management page and try to add one more menu item. Here you can see we have the services menu item and this is the same menu item that you are seeing on the menu bar. This one. Okay, let's go ahead and add one more menu item. For example, articles. Click on add new menu button. Let's add the new menu item information. For example, the menu name is article. The menu code is for example, ARTCL. There is no menu URL. The menu order is for example, 200. It will be displayed next to services link. The group name is same as the menu code ARTCL. And this is the main menu and it is active and there is no parent menu and let's click on the add button okay so here you can see the new menu item is added uh, let's edit it and make it articles let's update okay now it's good 
Now refresh the page. And here you can see the new menu item articles uh, is appeared next to service link. Now, for example, we want to write an article about full stack development and we want that full stack development article link under the main articles menu item. How are we going to do that? What we can do, we can just create a new menu item with the name full stack development and make it parent menu item as an articles menu. So let's see how we do it. Click on add new menu button. Enter the menu name. Full stack development. Menu code is FST for example. So it's not. Menu order is, uh, it doesn't matter. We'll just make it a 300. Proof name is same as the menu code. So this would be the sub link. It would be active and the parent menu about would be the articles. Now click on that button. Okay. Now refresh the page. Okay. Now if you mouse hover the articles menu, you can see the full stack development is there. Okay, so that's it with the menus management. Um, this is how you add and update the menu item. If you just want to delete any menu item, just click on the delete button. And we'll confirm to delete and click on the delete button again and it will be disappear from here. Let's cancel it for now. Okay, so the next step is to create a page against the full stack development link. Let's go back to our admin home page and now click on the pages management. So you can see we already have one page again the services menu so let's go ahead and create one more page click on add new page button alrighty so this is my favorite part here you can see a couple of input fields the first one is the title of the page the second is the menu item to which the page belongs the third is the page status for example, publish means visible to everyone, draft means you're still writing it, initiated means you just started it, and dead means hidden from everyone else except you. And this is an optional field. Uh, you can attach any image from your computer and add it to your page or article. And this is the main editor. Uh, it is powered by TinyMC, a very famous plugin. Um, the options over here are quite self-explanatory. For example, you can make the text bold or italic. You can select the font family. Uh, you can select the font size. Similarly, the text color, the background color. You can insert the emote icon. Uh, you can define the list, both bullet and numbered. You can align the text to the left, right, and the center. You can also insert the media, for example, image or video from YouTube. And you can make your editor full screen. So now since we got the basic understanding of editor and add new page functionalities, so let's go ahead and create a new page. Enter the title as what is the full stack development. Select the menu full stack development. Select the page status as draft let's start writing an article um, at the top of the page let's insert one image click on insert edit image button in the source text field uh, we need to add the url of the image i'm using the image from my facebook right click select the option copy image address and paste it here click on ok button Click on add button. Okay, so now it is actually uh, converted to update button now. So let me introduce you one cool feature that is auto save. So what you're gonna do, it will keep saving the page while you're writing and you don't have to click on update button again and again. Let's align the image to center. Let's add the heading. Okay, the spellings are terribly wrong. Click on it and select the right one. Sh 
change the text color to orange. So you can see the green circle at the right corner of the editor. Actually, this is not the part of the tiny MC. This is Grammarly. Uh, I installed the Chrome extension for the Grammarly. It's totally free and it's really helpful to fix the spellings and the grammar while you're writing. So I definitely recommend it um, while you write the page content. Let's keep editing it. I'm going to copy the content from this web page. Copy from here. Paste it. Similarly, get the very paste. Okay, so at the end of the page, uh, let's insert one YouTube video. Click on Insert Edit Media. Let's go to YouTube. Um, let's insert this one. Copy it. And paste it in the source. Click on OK button. And here you go. And that's it for the basic page editing. I mean, you can go ahead, you can use this uh, component as well. For example, you can add your own custom text. Here. Make it bold and insert some emote icon like this anyway. and increase the size to 1.24 change its color to this and you can also insert a link for example And text to display is visit stack.com. Target is new window. And here we go. And it's auto saved. Let's change the status to published. And go to the home page. Click on full stack development link and here you go. So you can see how easy it is to create a new menu item, create the page and attach the page to the menu item. And this is the article series that will help you to build this application from scratch. I'm sharing the article URL in the video description. Thank you for watching the video and happy coding.